So what this is, is I did promise a friend of mine I would um, show her some of my rather more obscure puzzles. So I've got, you know, quite a fan of puzzles since I was a little child and uh, just recently got into uh, actually getting around a nice little collection of them. You know, Rubik's Cube, uh, Rubik's 360 as well, and, uh, those 3D layered puzzles and the sphere puzzles as well. But these are some of my more obscure ones. Uh, we've got the uh, two crystal puzzles and four Hanayama cast puzzles. We'll go for the crystal puzzles first of all. First one of these I got was this skull uh, right here. I just like the concept of a uh, crystal skull. I think that's quite cute. Uh, and it's just a fantastic uh, actual mechanism for keeping it all in place. It can be really... You can handle this quite free once you've got it uh, solved. Um, that's, that's really nice. The other crystal puzzle I've got is the rose. A little bit more delicate. You can't really be quite as free. Um, but again, it is a very nice looking little piece of kit to have on the, uh, the shelf. Especially if you want to shine a light directly through it. It's really nice. Um, there is going to be a follow up to this in regards to those puzzles themselves as well. Let me get on to the Hanayama puzzles. I discovered these um, through uh, www.grand-illusions.com. That's a hyphen, not slash. Um, I just saw a picture of this one on the website one day. This is the Hanny Yellow Cast Puzzle Marble. I just thought it looked really, really cool and really interesting, so I decided that I was going to try and find a, a local stockist that sold them. Uh, I literally have. A little uh, ball bearing in the middle with apparent segmented lines on it, and the, uh, the frame itself is also kind of segmented. And the idea is there's four individual pieces of metal, you have to take it apart and then be able to reassemble it again. That's uh, pretty much the basis for all of these puzzles. Uh, the other one I got at the same time was this one, Loop, uh, which is just a, a nice little. Uh, take this apart so you actually see. Uh, that's the actual puzzle itself. It's got these two little magnets in, so that it will actually hold it together uh, once it's been solved. This is just the, a, a level one puzzle. I didn't buy it because it was uh, difficult to do. I just liked it because it looked really nice. The uh, the geometry of the uh, the actual pieces and the fact that it comes with a little cord of leather so that you can um, wear it as a, uh, a necklace or whatnot. I think that's just a really nice thing to have. The other two that I've got, um, obviously, again, just I bought these because they looked really nice. Um, and interesting. There's a, there's a lot of puzzles to the range. I'm not going to have all of them because some of them just have no interest in me whatsoever. This one's called Square for semi obvious reasons. Uh, and the idea is you have to take this apart into its four constituent pieces, but it's not just a solid slide in together puzzle. There's a. So for some reason, they don't want to move past the shadow all the way. You have to work out why, and uh, it's quite devious in its uh, design. Very nicely done puzzle, and again, just looks brilliant uh, on the shelf. And we have Nutcase that I got because it just looks like such a natural thing. The reason it's called Nutcase, as you can see there, it says Nutcase on those two bolts in the centre. So let me go the other way up. If you heard that little rattle inside, because there's another small uh, nut inside you have to actually get out. And that's the, uh, the actual puzzle itself. Uh, and again, it's just it's just nice to look at, but also it's red. That one's really devious as well, and really good fun to do. That's my more obscure uh, puzzle collection. So uh, yeah, there'll be some um, sped up versions of me doing a couple of these because these are just good fun. Every now and again, I'll take these two apart. All of them I take apart, but these are really quick to do. Uh, I'll take these two apart really quickly. Uh, well, and then take a little while longer to put them back together again because it's so much fun. So yeah, my obscure puzzle collection.